Hello everybody, welcome to this new video. I'm really excited to finally show you guys what I've been working on. And this is it, this code. So as you can see from my older videos, I've been showing you guys how to program games, you know, in C and C++, how to make your own game engines, really the low level kind of stuff. And uh, where this is the good thing, you know, being expressive in programming and be able to create whatever you want, it's, it's a little bit hard for people to, to uh, you know, develop their skills from the very beginning in this environment. They're not very beginner friendly. So what I decided to do is a tool to help people program and develop their programming skills without, without you know, losing this connection to the low level and actually understanding programming in, in this fundamental level, which I think is the best and most interesting thing. So this is what I come up with. You know, my brother and I have been creating this tool for the past few months. So it's called Viscode. So it's a developing environment where you're going to program with visual nodes. So in this video, you can see we're going to create pretty much like blueprints in Unreal. And if you're familiar with game development, some engines already have this concept. And, uh, but the text appears here. But not only that, you can actually edit it. So you can type your own text and see the nodes being created in real time. So it's kind of a, you can program with visual nodes and text interchangeably. So that's the basic idea. We're going to start out, you know, learning very simple things and, and then develop to create, of course, games and more complicated software. So there are lots of cool stuff you can do that I'm going to show you. Oh, these are, are a few games that I created in this code. Uh, so yeah, the idea is just to, just to create the simplest way and the best way to learn how to program, but in a way that you can take those skills and apply them to create actual real and cool software like games. And uh, yeah, in the next few videos, I'm going to show you the whole process of, of like learning from the very beginning all the way to making cool games. Hopefully you guys can follow along. And uh, so let's get started. You know, I'm going to download this code here for you guys so you guys can check out. So visco.com, the website, is going to come here and you can get started for free and just click get started. I'm going to create a new account here. And then uh, type password. Okay. And then I'm going to click register. Pretty cool. So right off the bat, you can see that I, I'm giving up a free premium time so you guys can, uh, you know, have a taste for what, what we really want to create, you know, the real vision of the, of the, of the tool, of this code. And then if you like it, you guys can uh, tell me in the comments below what you think can, can be improved and so on and uh, things like that. So I'm going to download the latest version here. Uh, I'm just going to download quickly here. And while we, well, <laughs> while we download, it was pretty, <laughs> pretty fast. I'm going to click Get Start Guide because We've created some pretty cool things to accompany uh, the, the, the tool. So not only will we be able to program with the notes and the text, but we also created a ton of documentation and tutorials for you guys. Like here in the Get It Started Guide, we're gonna show like basic stuff like installing and uh, what's the interface like and how you can like create your first nodes and things like that, move around. And the whole thing is actually available in English and in Portuguese. So uh, if you guys are, are Brazilians or Portuguese, you can actually read that, that was, that was pretty cool. And then you can you know, follow along, like first explain what is programming, computers and data, you know, the entry point. So it's basically all the fundamental concepts, but the easiest way for people to get started. And not only that, because it gets to some, some pretty cool things, like in the programming exercises, for example, we have some pretty cool arrays exercises and uh, loops as well, that's gonna be good, good to sharpen your skills. Right, as well as games and game engines and things like that. It's gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna show you guys this later on. Okay, so I'm gonna run the installer. And uh, yeah, Windows may pop up a message saying that uh, not a lot of people use the software yet, so it's unknown and things like that. So I'm gonna click run anyway. Okay, so this is the installer. I'm gonna choose a folder. That's okay, and click install. Already installed, pretty fast, right? <laughs> and now I'm gonna log in again. And let's get started. So this is the main screen, the like the welcome screen, so to speak, so to speak. And here you'll be able to check out the main tutorials. So if you're very new to programming, like you've never programmed before, this series is for you, like introduction to programming. Here we're gonna teach you like from the very basic concepts to creating our first programs, all the way to pretty much all the features that you'll need, like loops and uh, if statements and control flow arrays, all that stuff, procedures. So you can get started creating more interesting stuff. These are pretty cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys what's in them. The quick start 
is for people who already know how to program but want to, to you know get started quickly in this code because when we get to like the, mo the more interesting stuff like the, the exercises that they get pretty hard and the development, game development, which we're also going to show you guys today, uh, then we also, you know all the tools that you have at your disposal, right? But first I'm going to create a very basic tutorial, the, first, the very first one, Hello World, and uh, show you guys what's in them. So yeah, let me name the project like Hello World. Okay, that's it. So as you can see, the interface is pretty cool. So there are three main panels. We have the visual panel, the text panel, and the tutorial panel. If you create it with no tutorials, like in the beginning, you can create just like a new project, then you wouldn't have this panel. You can just like do whatever you want. And uh, right here, you can move with the right mouse button and use the scroll wheel to zoom in, the mouse scroll to zoom in and out, right? And the right mouse button to move. Here is just the text editor. So you can type whatever you want, They're like normal text, but we're gonna type text soon enough. And this is the tutorial, so uh, if you're like on your own, you download the platform, you can check out, we did tons of tutorials, like with full of images and explain like every single bit that you need to learn to get started and you know, really develop your skills. Uh, and this way of like doing the text and the visual at the same time, it's gonna be really intuitive for you guys. There's also like help, you can click and move to the, to the uh, documentation with additional links and stuff, that was pretty cool. So the first thing I'm gonna do here, I'm going to drag off this pin here, and I, create, and I can do a couple of things. I can create a new variable, new procedure. I'm gonna import a library. So a library is just like another programming language. It's like a, a bunch of code that you can use to create more complex behavior. Like if I import the print library, I'm gonna use to print, I'm gonna be able to print messages to the user on the screen, right? And the procedure, it's just the same thing. It's a function, it's a method, it's a body of code that we can execute. And the main procedure is the entry point, just like in a programming language, right? A normal one. So as you can see, when I finished you know, placing those nodes, uh, the text was generated. And uh, yeah, so we can see like the import print and the main procedure here. And I can, you know, start modifying whatever I want to do here. And uh, if it's a valid code, then the procedures will uh, update as well. So one updates the other and you can work that interchangeably. And that's the thing that I think is the major cool thing because it's very easy to, you know, start dragging nodes and, you know, let's say, okay, let's try printing a message. Okay, what's that? Oh, so print, it's like this. So maybe I can type print and then, okay. So yeah, it also creates a new print. So you can experiment and actually learn programming with text, right? To be able to control more complex programs, but also use the visual nodes to get that intuitive thing really uh, off, really off, uh, of the bat because it's easier, right? I'm gonna open the quotes here, double quotes, and type a message like, hello world, I'm gonna do a hello world, which is a very, very cliche, but it's supposed to be the very first program, right? So I'm gonna compile, which generates the, the machine code, the actual executable for the program, and then I can run. So this is the result of our program. So it's, a, it's an actual program that you created. You created an executable file, you can run, and then uh, you can then share the executable and do whatever you want. It's, it's pretty cool uh, what, uh, what you can do with it. It's pretty much like if you create a game in Viscode, you can post the game on Steam, on HI or whatever and share that with the, with the world. It's a real, real programming language in that sense. So yeah, we just finished creating a Hello World program. We can do a couple more cool stuff. Like I can also print, I'm gonna add a new line here. This is really cool. And then the, the the code generator for you, so you can you know you can start to see the possibility. Like if I copy this a couple times, maybe add a couple new lines as well, and also you know compiling and running the program. So this is it. So hello world, this is really cool. Another hello world, and uh, so that's the basic of it. So you can interact uh, with this panel and this panel, and you you start to get the hand of it. And there are some pretty cool things they'll be able to do even in bigger programs with the text panel, with the uh, visual panel. So the idea is that you could be able to use like each one where it's best for you. That's gonna be pretty cool, right? So just to finish off the interface, this is the, like the save button to make sure that you can save the, the project, right? And the rearrange nodes, like when you're creating nodes, like I'm gonna create a print float and print like a number here. If I click rearrange, then it lines up perfectly. And then, uh, yeah, the compile, which is gonna transform your code into a real program, a real executable, and run, perfect. 
Now this is how you can change the program to Portuguese if you want. We have those two languages for now. Pretty cool, right? Now, uh, I'm gonna save the project, and then I'm gonna show you guys one of the games that I created, just as a way for you guys to, to feel like, to see the possibility that you can do in this code. And you know, if you spend some time, you'll be able to create even more, even cooler games and share them with the world and stuff. So you can follow the tutorial by, by going here, and then that will be a step-by-step -step approach, like it's recommended that you already know the basic features, programming features in this code. Because unlike a normal game engine, commercial game engine, the, the focus here is for you to learn programming. So we're gonna, we're gonna show you guys what's a game loop and uh, what's about processing input and just displaying, displaying uh, bitmaps, things like that. So you're gonna learn really the, the, the thought, the thinking behind this basic concept. And, uh, and then you'll be able to apply that in whatever you want. So even if you wanna learn like C or C++ later on, you'll be able to get what you learned here, which is like a, the, the fundamentals of programming, of game development, things like that, and then apply to everyone, even a commercial game engine, like Unreal or Unity later on. So I'm gonna open up a project here that I prepared. And okay, so as you can see, it, projects can get pretty big in this scenario because it's a real programming language. So you can create like procedures, like test if player shot and get, receive parameters and like spawn explosion that receive parameters with default values. So it can get, you know, if statements and it gets pretty, pretty cool here in like while and you can break out of while loops. And uh, yeah, and then of course, by importing the game engine, you can use pretty cool functions like creating objects and uh, setting bitmaps as well as, you know, doing like lower level things like doing the game loop and doing immediate mode drawing, uh, animating objects, like with delta seconds and learning all these concepts, everything like this you're gonna learn and be able to apply not only to create your own games, but actually to really learn what's behind this. Because when I started learning game development, I was kind of a button pusher, right? I was like, oh, this tutorial, you learned this game engine. So I was, I got good at, you know, using the tools, but not at programming per se. So that's why I had to go back and relearn really that after all of those years. And uh, this code is a way for me to kind of try to help people learn programming while making cool stuff, but not only have to relearn that later on and actually have, have knowledge that you can expand. So yeah, this is how it looks the same uh, in, uh, in the nodes as they get complicated. So this is a new procedure I'm declaring here and then I can receive parameters. There's return values if I want. And uh, yeah, then I call like spawn particles, which is another procedure passing parameters you know, with letting the default value do their stuff, if statements, so everything's in here. And you can see it gets pretty big. So <laughs> it's gonna be cool because as you start out with the nodes that are super simple and you can like really call spawn particles and understand like, okay, so I'm passing the explosion as the particle object ID and then the X and Y as the position. This is really intuitive, but being able to see the program as text is really valuable if you wanna become a better programmer. But it's also good if you just want to be better at uh, the, uh, problem solving, right? And abstract thinking and logic in general because be able to, to see side by side is something really cool. So I'm gonna compile, then run the game and hopefully you guys will be able to, oh my God. <laughs> I'm trying to get, lower the volume a bit, but there's no time. So it's a pretty, pretty cool game. Yeah, so I just died. I don't know if you guys can hear that properly. But yeah, so I added music and sound effects and like particles and or cool sounds when the player ship's moving. So it's a pretty elaborate game. I mean, something that you, you can really show your friends and uh, be proud of and actually apply a lot of the things that you learned. And this is like one game that I created. You know, if you, if you want to really develop the skills, you can really create more and more cool stuff with this, you know. And then hopefully, uh, by understanding all this, create your own, your own uh, cool programs. So that's the basic idea that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, so this is Viscode that you can access on visco.com. And hopefully uh, you guys can tell me what you guys think about this idea. If it's really valuable for you to be able to program in this new way and what you think, maybe you can uh, play around with it a bit and uh, have some feedback because you know, I'm just launching, launching this, right? Because it's been a, a lot of work getting this off the ground. So finally be able to share you guys, it's been a really, really cool. So this is another game that I made. That was pretty cool. <laughs> kind of a Flappy Birds kind of game. And 
And yeah, and then you can check out the, the documentation with tons of stuff like about making games. So we teach you, I teach you guys about uh, about the, the loop and then like input, input simulate display and how does that work, you know, and with everything like in bad tutorial that you're gonna check out inside the platform, programming games, there are tons of like tips and things like that for each game that I helped you guys create. And uh, yeah, so this is what I, what I wanted to show you guys. In the next few videos, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more about programming in this code, maybe like do a course on like video game programming for very beginners. Because if you understand like the very basic things like if statements and while loops, you can jump right into making games and uh, not just pushing buttons and games coming out, but actually programming them. So th th that's the, the, one of the major things that I wanted to do. And uh, here's the full like API for the uh, game engine. There are tons of good stuff there. This is more like, okay, so I'm gonna learn how, how to, you know, uh, use the logic system of this game engine, but also in the tutorials, learn how to make like custom object systems and animating by yourself. So you don't rely on the tools that I give you to get started easier. Okay, so I hope you guys liked it, this video. And uh, yeah, I'll be waiting to see you guys in the comments, right? And uh, see you next time. <laughs> bye bye.